Rescue Mission Day 30. I'm so excited to look at mods with you. And I am excited to pour gooey substances all over this poor plant-like individual. Kit, from the planet of Cigare, an expert in materials and social niceties. He joined the task force to study raw materials alongside former classmate Osa. No. I think you need to pour more goo on him. He is still a leafling, at least partially. Thank you for saving me. My name's Kit. I spend most of my time investigating minerals. In fact, that's what I came here to do. The minerals on this planet are amazing. It's got so many different kind of miner kinds of minerals that... Oh, I'm sorry. I started to get carried away there. The important thing is that you know now how much I appreciate you rescuing me. I am not important at all. That, literally, I do nothing. Maybe someone cares about me and I will be important later, but for now, I'm useless. The cushion cake. Did you know this lumpy cake doubles as a cushion? What a clever idea, no? It's just the right amount of softness and firmness for sitting on. And when you grow hungry, just you just take a bite. What a sweet treat it is too. Who knew a cushion could be so satisfying? Puzzle snack. This snack not only satisfies hunger, but intellectual curiosity as well. How do the arms of this snack intertwine so like so like that? <laughs> Get some friends together and talk it over while you nibble away on the problem itself. You're sure to arrive at the tasty answer eventually. There's no other way to say it. The inside of the seed hive is quite grotesque. That knot of black orbs in the, its belly. Yuck. But many seeds means many cultiva cultivation pro opportunities. There's no reason to turn our noses up at that. Doggy bed. This giant dog-shaped bed is the perfect spot for a canine companion to sleep on. It's quite thick and good at absorbing slobber as your favorite pooch friend is prone to such things. Also, a dog sleeping on a dog-shaped mattress. What could be cuter? Number jumper. This clever exercise machine combines the joys of doing math with the thrill of physical exertion. When performing complex math tasks, simply jump from key to key. I dare, si dare say finding solutions to math problems has never been so fun. Shattering Lance. What if... What would you say if I told you that this spear is capable of shattering everything from a single solid stone to an entire iceberg? Would you shake your head in disbelief? Well, it's the truth. In fact, it works so well that should you start using it to break things, you might find it hard to stop using it to break things. It's just so satisfying. Of course, that is how one suddenly finds oneself surrounded by nothing but rubble. Love Nugget. I don't know what it is about this fruit, vegetable, whatever it is, but take one bite and your heart is sure to heat up. I know mine does. Is it love at first bite, or am I just imagining things? Heroic Sword. This sword was once wielded by a hero who stood upon the battlefield, cutting down enemies. It is said the sword's bold color drew the enemies in and distracted them. The hero made easy work of them as they stared, transfixed by his blade. Freeze cake. The way its blue-white shell is woven through with cracks makes it look like a porcelain coaster. What's more, it's cold enough to keep your drink chilled. Of course, this remarkable critter is very much alive, and would flip-flop your drink right over. Icy Blowhog. This frosty flyer may exhale frigid breath, but you can touch it without having to worry about freezing. Its face remains quite cool, but it expels warm air from the little holes in its side. If you're feeling chilled, you could sidle up right next to this little one. That makes sense. It's expelling the warmth to remain cold. I buy that. Snowflake Fluttertail. Please don't call it a flying snowman. The sight of it flying around with its magnificent wings, scattering ice like diamonds, evokes thoughts of a snow sprite. Witness this beauty of nature and let it soothe away all of your woes and anxieties. 
the Papil Fictus Nividae. What a great addition to the cast. We can heal Ochi. We can't heal ourselves. If we go down, it's all over. Let's just stop worrying about Ochi's damage being insufficient. It simply is as good as it's going to get. Okay. Amazing Ochi! Incredible even! I'd say you'd mastered Rush. Does that mean that you're ready for the more advanced Mega Rush? I warn you, this one is not easy. It is in fact the opposite of that. Never mind about his damage not being sufficient. This Mega Rush gives Ochi the ability to stun creatures. His energy charges up even faster too. Well, are you ready to go back to the place that you have been going to? Indeed I am. Let's go. Now that I know that Flying Pikmin aren't entirely le leveraged as well as I thought here, I think what I'm going to do is take out blues, obviously, because we have... We have a blue onion we're about to get. Take out all of my whites, and... I think a few reds. Just for the damage. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, there is a an ice onion over there. That's the best way for us to start off the day. And we can even get a bunch of new ice Pikmin to boot. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Ochi, you take that back. And you guys take this back. And hopefully you're... I didn't say you could do that. Um, and let's make sure this gets back first. Maybe. Come on. There you go. There you go. And hopefully they're smart enough to switch over to bringing it back for their... Their banner? They should be. Usually they are. Four color onion, four color onion, four color... Come on! You can do it, I believe! Four color onion. Yes! I know the Pikmin will be excited about this. I know I sure am. No, you're, they're not smart enough. They're not smart enough. Okay, try that again. No, 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 no. Try that again. No, 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 no. I literally just called you back. There you go. That's something to be excited about. Look at that. Okay, so you guys do that. And now we can start... Now we can start claiming stuff for the ice. It makes, it makes our progress feel a little bit more... Good. More progressive. It just... Instead of us getting, you know, our 300th red Pikmin or our 300th blue or, or yellow, there's now kind of a reason to do this. It's not like Pikmin, Pikmin totals are really that concerning. Like, we, we have all the Pikmin we could ever need. But it makes me feel better. Okay, so what is... We got up here yesterday, and I don't know... I wish I could get in there. Like, I don't know where we're supposed to go from here. This button just does that. It just turns on the fan, but why would we need the fan? I need- we need to get on to- on top of that. Like, on top of the- huh. Okay, so we're on this. This is not gonna take us anywhere different. Um... And, in fact... Maybe we need, uh, maybe we need Flying Pikmin for that. I don't think I can target something that high, though. Like, yeah, I can't target that. So I, um, that's our, there's our last card. Maybe I, maybe I do this. No? And I don't see a way to get up there. I need to go back pretty far. I do not see a way to get there. So we must get launched. That, that must be what happens. And we need to get on top of this somehow. But I'm not, okay, there's a fan there. That's how we get on top of the thing. On top of the stool. That's not something, is it? It kind of looks like something, doesn't it? Is that... That is interactable. Ah, that's how we do it. We dig. 
Oh, we don't even need to dig. We just go in. There we go. Feel like I'm playing Minish Cap all over again. Ride. Let's ride the rail. And I don't have any rock Pikmin, which is going to be very awkward. Let's hit the switch first. That way I can jump down if I need to avoid anything. Don't kill me, bro. Get ready to freeze him. Come on. There you go. Go, 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 go. Switch to reds. It's gonna sprout this thing, but maybe I can freeze him before. I can, yes. I think I can stun lock him now. Come on, go. Freeze him, freeze him, freeze him. Go. Ah, oh, super close. Run. Oh, that was close. Run again. And Skirbaloosh. Good battle. Which I can't get those without Ochi. Can you guys, like, pull them down? That stinks. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and get these guys nectared up. Because I lost a lot from that fight. Okay. Uh, there are two sprays there, some tantalizing sprays. That is our last. I didn't really fixate on that. I noticed it yesterday, but I didn't, like, I did not talk about it. That's our last floor lick. Like, we're done. We have 100 Pikmin as of now. We got a new onion and floor lick. How crazy is that? And now... Um... I can go up here. My Pikmin did come with me, even though it looked like they wouldn't be able to. Ooh, what, what song is it? What song? <laughs> Finally, we're able to take out 100 Pikmin at a time. Nothing can stop us now. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, no, no, restart the song. Restart the song. Come on. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I love that. I, I've actually been writing, uh, I've been writing music for the Song of Storms, because I'm I'm planning a D&D campaign, unbeknownst to my players, that takes place uh, over one, or uh, almost 100 years after the events of Majora's Mask, and so I'm planning out, like, the entire bloodlines of all the characters that you encounter in the game. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's like going to be my magnum opus for, for D&D, and I'm super excited about it, and part of that is writing... Come on, get back, get out of the way, get out of the way. Part of that is writing lyrics to a bunch of popular Zelda songs, and that is one of them. Okay, you guys swarm that. Okay. And now I still need to figure out. Oh, and there's even a Dendori challenge up there. So there's that fan. There's that fan. Actually, wait, I have an idea. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. It just toggles between it. So I all I need to do. Switch over to Ochi. Switch back to Jeff. Jump in this. Switch back. Jump on this. Switch back. And... In the airflow. Hello! I am also here. You look so happy. Look, it's a leafling. Dan Dory anytime. Dan Dory everywhere. Dan Dory over and over again. Bye. Wow, how many castaways have been turned into leaflings? Never mind, we need to rescue them all. Bah ha 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 ha. You guys don't that. Throw them down there and miss entirely. That's fine. Ah! Are you joking? <laughs> that stinks. Uh, come back. Take two. Let's crawl down this carefully. There, very carefully. 
There we go. Oh yeah, and get and get this while we're at it. So now we can climb up. And I'm gonna immediately go in here. Why not? Why not? We've kind of conquered this area. Like legitimately, we're. Are we done? Wait, are we like done done with this area? Oh, there's the stool. I do need to get on top of the stool. Uh, switch over to Ochi, because I think... Ochi, why? Why? Because I, I fat-fingered once, and was like, I want you to find Olimar, and it... Even though I canceled it like 50 times, he's still obsessed with it. Fine. You, you do that. I'm going in here. Hefty hallway. Sweet. Let's do it. Listen close to this tale of the ballad of the gale. Thunder, heavy wind, the tempest shall begin. Summon clouds, summon rain. I will sculpt a hurricane as the elements perform. <laughs> Ye the better your dandori, the more important you are. Good at keeping Pikmin busy. Good at Kitandori. How good are you? Oh, kind of good, I guess. I'm in a dead end. Oh, this is definitely worth my while. Come on, sprout, sprout. Yeah, it's going to speed me up a lot. Okay, so you're there. Get around to the side. Chomp emoji. Chomp him, chomp him, chomp him, chomp him. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna have you do that. I need more than 12, so let's call them back and have them dig that up instead. One, two. Uh, there's a jelly float, which I can definitely tackle with my ice Pikmin. Freeze it. Insta-kill. Good job. And for proper Dandori, Ochi, you deal with that. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm out of here. And we're going to... Uh, 1, 2, 3... Actually, I want this really sorted. Yeah, that takes 15. We're going to set Ochi on that in a moment. Um, Ochi. Switch. You go up there. Switch. Oh, it's so much, it's so much better now that I can just do that as the press of the button. Okay. Um, which way do I go? I think I go this way. Yeah. I wish I had Ice Pikmin to my name. Ochi. Honey. Deal with that. I don't have Ice Pikmin. So I'll have to kill this guy the normal way, which kind of stinks. Maybe I... Uh, I think I ignore him. I think I ignore him. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to ignore him for now. Put them on digging duty. Switch with Ochi. I have a couple ice Pikmin. But nothing really to do with them. That's getting smaller, but not small enough. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think I whistle them out. And I, I tackle this section first. I think that's what I do. Because those ice Pikmin are really going to help. Okay, come on back. Throw... Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. Switch. They're digging. Whistle all the Pikmin. I don't care about Ochi. Yeah, you guys deal with that. You dig. Um, you dig. And now we have, now we have purples. Purples are gonna be very useful, but I don't know which way we carry them. Um, there's gonna be a button somewhere. Do they carry them the long way? Do I freeze this again? That's the button. That's the button. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Switch. Ochi. You get that button. That button's super important. Because then I can take them back this way. So while they do that, uh, this is frozen, so I'm gonna deal with this. Switch. Button. Yep, indeed that lowers it, so Ochi can start taking care of the heavy stuff. That is that is Ochi's strong suit here. We're gonna leave that fro these frozen for now. The ice, I don't know why I said these. Leave that frozen for now, just to get this heavy stuff out of here. 
Uh, deal with that. You guys deal with that. Um, Ice Pikmin, one, two, three, four, five. You guys just kill that. You deal with this. Yellow Pikmin. Get on that gate. Switch over. Um, I have six Pikmin. One, two, three. One, two, three. And Ochi, you carry this heavy thing. I think I'm making... I think I'm making quick work of this. I think I'm doing a good job. Almost one off. One off. So, one, two. One. Um, I don't think I need that many Ice Pikmin anymore. So, switch. Switch. This room is clear. Yeah, so I can I can get rid of the or I can summon the ice pikmin and basically have more resources. I just have to wait for this to be done. And while I do that, we will 50. Perfect. I actually have that exact amount. And whistle. Come on, guys. Good job. Die. Die. Move base. Sorry if I'm just kind of announcing what I'm doing, but I think it's... I think it's important here. Okay, so there's only one more thing there. The moot will transport that. Tomato. You guys clear that. Uh, you clear that. Oh, you guys... Oh, there's water. Snap, that's not good. My Dandori, no! Ice Pikmin, get over here. Freeze it. Good job. Okay, there, he's gonna deal with that. Ochi will get it in the meantime. Um, we have to deal with that. Uh, I need more Ice Pikmin. I need more Ice Pikmin. Go. Oh, perfect, perfect. Ice Pikmin. Uh, everyone swarm that just to get it out of the way, and I will. I will have enough Ice Pikmin by the time they're done. And I'll swarm them on it, too. I think this is okay. I have a minute left. Like, I'm cutting it close. I don't know if I'll perfect it, but I think I have a shot. Cool. I'm getting it done. Um, I'll summon those Ice Pikmin now. I have enough to freeze it. Freeze. Kill. Come on, freeze it. Okay, come on. Good job. Nice. That went a lot better. Ochi, you deal with that. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna dig this up quick. Ochi, you get that. Purple. Purple. And start throwing all the pigment on it. All of them. Go faster. Go faster. Come on. Oh, we're not going to get it. We're one short again. Not again. No. <sighs> that was good. But it was one short. One short on a blind run. Come on. Oh, I froze those enemies. Ah, that's fair. That's, that's, a, okay. I did forget the cardinal rule. Man. Bronze... I only missed a couple things here. Although that one, the watermelon counted for a lot, to be fair. So close. Your Dandori is too good. I could never beat. As I promised your reward. Take it. And save me. I can change the camera here. What? Why? <laughs> You did it. Come on. Get him out of here. Don't let him say another word. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will get you put into a salad.